As pressure grows on health care providers to take a new look at their treatment choices and opt for the one proven most effective, more and more attention is being paid to a metric called the number needed to treat, R N N T. This is simply the number of patients who have to take a drug for one of them to get the desired benefit. It's a marketing boon to pharma companies making a drug that works almost every time, but a real challenge when a drug has a high NNT. That can be because the drug works only for some patients, because the condition for which it is prescribed is one where some patients get better even without the drug, or because, like statins to lower cholesterol, so few patients suffer dire consequences like a heart attack that even reducing that number helps very few. In the script market insight feature, we discuss how a company faced with selling a drug with a high NNT might approach the problem. It could, to begin with, point out the statistical problems with deriving the number. It could emphasize a better safety record, pointing that the higher NNT is balanced by a low number of subjects harmed by the drug. Then there is the fact that the drug may have many lifestyle benefits besides the one measured by the NNT. For instance, a trial of biphosphonate therapy to prevent recurrent vertebral fracture produced an unimpressive NNT of 15, but virtually every participant showed improvement in bone mineral density. And finally, the company could recalculate the NNT using, for instance, patients at higher than average risk to show that in that subpopulation only a few need to be treated for one to receive the good results doctors are seeking.